It is day one with the Amazon Echo Show 5. I'm super excited. I've been waiting for over a week now. Well, over a month since I found out about it. But I'm here with the Echo Show 5, and we're gonna do another super cool unboxing. All right, so let's go ahead and have a look at this box. So it's pretty basic. Well, it's not basic, but it's a it's an Amazon product box if you've seen one before. So it's got the picture of the show in the front, Echo Show 5. On the side, it's got all the supported services. And look, Apple Music is up there finally because it became officially supported. So the last device I bought, Apple Music wasn't supported yet, so it didn't have that. This is a big deal for an Apple Music user like me. Maybe not to you, but to me it is. And then this has some of the features. So it has the A word, it has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, audio line out, and built-in camera cover. So this actually has a line out so you can still hook it up to an external speaker, just like with the other premium Echoes, except this is only $90. That's the cheapest Echo show that they've made. Even though you can find the first gen Echo for Lower than that, I did see refurbished models for $50 on Woot.com before I ordered this, and I was super tempted to get it, but I really wanted that new new, if you know what I'm saying. And this just shows some of the stuff you can do with the Echo. So my first impressions, the box is really small. I was not expecting it to be this small. I know it has a 5.5 inch screen, but I was expecting the to be a little bit bigger than this. So if the box is this big, I only can imagine how big the actual device is. But let's go ahead and start opening this. So you got the little peel tab here, which I'm bad at, but I'll make it look classy anyway. And I'm doing it from the wrong side. Bam, there we go. That was extra classy, if you guys didn't know. And boom, peel that off, lift up, pop the top. And what do we have in here? We got the Echo Show 5. Wow, this is small. So, I mean, I'm more familiar with looking at like, you know, the bigger Echo Shows, especially that first generation one. Like the screen wasn't that big, but it had a badonka on it. Like it had a bad on it. I was like, dang, why the butt so fat? Like the whole, like the whole bottom was like, but this one is like, you know, it's still got a booty on it, but the bottom is kind of, you know, flat. So the screen is hecka small. Then it's completely covered in plastic. Let's see what else is in the box. Okay, we got a little documentation. So I ordered this directly from Amazon. So typically if you order uh, an Echo device from Amazon, they'll go ahead and pre-register it with your account. Uh, kind of like yesterday when I uh, did the unboxing for the plug and it popped up in the app automatically. Should have mentioned that in that video, but I didn't. I failed. All right, you have your power cord, which is detachable, which I'm happy about. Because the HomePod one is not, and it gets on my nerves. All right, so let's go ahead and get this out the plastic, and let's get it plugged in and see what this whole thing, this experience is about. See what this little badonka dunk can do. All right, so this is uh, this feels like really good quality. I really like, it reminds me a lot, like the texture reminds me a lot of the Google Home. It has a really nice sturdy rubberized bottom here. Like it feels, it feels pretty dense. Like it doesn't feel like a cheap device. It, does, it definitely doesn't feel like a cheap Echo, like a compromised Echo. It feels like the real deal. I'm excited to have like a touchscreen Echo and see what that lifestyle is about. Plus, we've been using the Echo B built-in echo downstairs and it's pretty awful so this will be a nice change and let's go ahead and get this plugged in and see what this whole thing is like the power going here Bam. amazon just popped on the screen that's popping fresh piping hot amazon logo i just want to wake up to it i want to wake up to it so as you notice the screen is pretty small so if you're looking for like an entertainment device slash echo this might not be the best choice for like your living room we are going to have this in the living room but it's going to be like on a, a bookshelf type thing so that's what our idea was and that's just you know we just kind of want to have a hub 
or we can just touch the screen to turn on the lights. And then we still have all the voice stuff. So that's what I wanted to try and experience with this device. And it finally being at a reasonable price for the Echo Show, which is $90, it's like the best time, in my opinion, to jump in. Because before, the cheapest one, like new, directly from Amazon was the Spot, and that was $130, and that screen was like this big. I personally thought it was a cool device. I definitely didn't think it was worth $130. I did do an unboxing on it, but I didn't buy it. That was one that I had. It was a work one for my previous job that we had for troubleshooting purposes. And my boss at the time let me take it home and unbox it, which was pretty cool for her to do. I'm very thankful of that. But personally, I would have never bought that and I didn't. All right, so first we gotta select our language. I'm gonna go with United States English. Hello, ready for setup. All right, so now it's searching for network, so that's interesting, so. It looks like it kind of just does everything from here. Let me go ahead and connect to my secret network. All right, we got it connecting here. So it's exciting, I'm about to see what this thing can do. Fetching registration status. Oh, I guess they don't, I guess this isn't registered to my account, so I have to go ahead and sign in. So you would just sign in with your Amazon account email address and password so I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick it's so weird how this is like pretty much a phone size screen like this is like holding a big phone and I don't mean big as in the screen size because the screen size is like normal phone screen size I mean big as like the back of it but it's really comfortable because it's just it's so much easier to hold not that you ever want to hold this like this is not really like made for you to hold up to your face like a tablet. But if it was though, that's an idea. Amazon, get, hit me up. The fire tab of Badunkle Dunk with, with a bad. That's what we're gonna call it. All right, now it's registering it to my account. So we're gonna see how this rolls. So it's now registered to my account. I'm gonna hit continue. Boom, it's got my time zone and all that stuff there. Where is your Echo Show? So that's cool. So it already has your rooms that are set up here. So this is going to be in the living room. So I'm going to give this a custom name. I'm very creative with names. You guys are going to be blown away by this. Living Room Echo Show. Done. Continue. Updating, come on. So apparently this has day one updates. It's like many popular video games. Everything must have a day one update. Device. I guess while this update is going on, you can go over some of the other stuff. So this does have a few physical buttons. So you have your volume down and up here. This is a mute switch for the microphone. And then here is your actual physical camera shutter. So. When it's red, that means your camera is off, you're safe, no one's spying on you, no one's watching you pee. You turn it on, everyone's watching you pee at all times. It doesn't matter where you place it at in your house, they're watching you pee. Just letting you know. So you might want to keep that on the orange if you don't want people to see you peeing. As I install the updates, this device will restart twice. All right, so as it installed the updates, this device will restart twice. Over 5,000 years ago, there was an Amazon device that began updating. Do, 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 do. And that update lasted another 10,000 years. Do, 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 do. The Echo Show 5. All right, so looks like finally the update is finishing. I'm seeing the splash screen again. So just a warning for you day one people or anybody that gets a new one in the next couple of weeks, probably, or months. There's a pretty lengthy update, like I would say it's at least five minutes. So be aware of that, it's not a big deal. Really, you just go sit it down and have a cup of coffee. It's a big deal when you're recording a video though, Amazon. Kinda look out for me, have mine updated out the box, but it's fine. Um, so this color I got is technically the sandstone, so this is available in sandstone and black. It's white. 
It's white and black. Don't try to fancy your colors. It's white. Sandstone. Sandstone. How ridiculous is that? I wanted it though. If it was white, I probably wouldn't have got it. But since it said sandstone, I did buy it. So they got me. Marketing got me. I'm back. Let's continue. Hi. We're glad you're here. It's time to get you and your Echo Show 5 off and running. Here are three Can I just skip to this? Number one. You know, this actually sounds pretty good. Number three. Choose that, your perfect clock amount of bass. To get started, say Alexa. Customize my clock. This is just the beginning of things you can do with your Echo Show 5. For more things it's pretty to loud, try, has a surprising like amount of bass. What can I say? Wish I could skip this video though. Alright, so we're here. Let's see what we got going on here. So if you swipe down, it's giving you like a quick menu to adjust the brightness of the screen. There's a do not disturb mode. And then I have your settings here. Bluetooth. Display sound similar to the app. So you got your and you got your outside temperature here. All right, and if you swipe from this side, then you get music and routines, alarms, video, smart home. That's what I was looking for. All right, that did take a second to load, but this is a cheaper device. All right, and that's kind of cool. So you can go through and see what devices are off and on. I can talk to my front door camera here. See what's going on at the front door. That was one of the reasons that I really wanted this. So I could have access to just pull up the door camera without having to fumble with my phone. They have the doorbell ring or if there's motion detected. So that's cool. So this is kind of like a shortcut to all of your smart home stuff. You have any alarms you have set up here, which this probably would be a good alarm clock. Like a bedside table type of thing with the size of it. And then you have routines. I don't think we have any routines set up. Oh, we do. I forgot we made that away from home one. Okay, then you have music. We used to just play classical music all the time, our echoes, for the dog when we leave. So that's probably what we'll play right now if I actually played the music. And then communicate. You can drop in, message, show contacts, call. And then of course you get all the same voice functionality that you do with any other Echo device. So first impressions of this, I think it's pretty cool. It's smaller than I thought, but it's got way better build quality than I expected. Um, the touch screen, I mean this device is not the fastest, it is kind of slow. It is kind of sluggish if you're used to like a smartphone where you do something and it happens like instantly. This is really not that device. But I think for the price to have like this kind of, you know, smart home video hub type thing, I think it's pretty cool. And if you think this video is pretty cool, remember to tell a friend, tell a coworker, like, share, and subscribe, and always do at least two things at the same time. Peace.